Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Now celebrating 17 years of broadcasting success, here's your host, Cyrus Webb. And welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again, both for our radio audience tuning in in Mississippi as well as our online audience tuning in through iHeartRadio. We're glad you all could join us as well. As we've talked about already this month, October is recognized, among other things, as Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Well, actually, on October the 13th, it's recognized as Metastatic Breast Cancer Awareness Day. Here to talk to us more about not only the treatment that's available but also the resources, we're excited to welcome Dr. Beth Bachman-Dupree. Talk to Dr. Dupree not only about the the treatment options, but also what can be done, especially in the age of COVID, to make sure that those living with metastatic brain cancer are getting exactly what they need, as well as where they can go for more information about the resources available. Dr. Dupree, thank you so much for the time. Really appreciate it. Well, Cyrus, thank you, and I'm happy to be on the Mover and Shakers radio show. That's pretty awesome. I'm coming well, up in the world. Look, we- well, look, we we are glad to have you. I mean, you know, I think, and as I said, on this program, especially on the radio side, Dr. Dupree, we've talked about October being recognized as Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and that's so general. But as I mentioned, though, uh, on October the 13th is recognized as Metastatic Breast Cancer Awareness Day. So talk to us about what exactly is metastatic breast cancer and what makes it different from other breast cancers that are out there. So metastatic breast cancer is simply breast cancer that has spread outside the breast and lymph nodes into other organs of the body. It's also called stage four breast cancer. And it is, to me, it's really a chronic disease because many times it requires multiple different treatments to um, hold off the progression of that disease. And what a lot of people don't recognize is it's not a special kind of breast cancer. It's Um, a breast cancer that has progressed in about one-third of women and men diagnosed with breast cancer in this country will develop metastatic breast cancer to the tune of about 170,000 women and men currently living in the United States with breast cancer metastasized to other organs today. So it's a very, very important topic. And for a lot of these patients, October isn't a great month for them because they see pink splashed everywhere talking about early detection and prevention, and not a lot of attention has been paid to those living with metastatic cancer. So this is a very important time this month because we get the opportunity to do something with the Phoenix Oncology and Viber Health to make a difference in those patients' lives. Well, well, I appreciate you sharing that information. I'm sure a lot of uh, our audience, including myself, uh, Dr. Dupree, did not realize that, and I'm, and I'm glad you mentioned, too, that it's not just women, it's women and men that are dealing with this as well. So so let's talk about, about treatment options because, uh, as you mentioned, I mean, it, it is, uh, I mean, a lot of people in this country that are, are having to live with this. What are some of the, the types of treatments that are available for those with metastatic breast cancer? So I like to look at metastatic breast cancer as two, two sides of the coin here, where one side, we're treating the physical body, and we treat the physical body with medications. They could be IV medications. They could be oral medications. There's a lot of medications in development right now, and because breast cancer is not one disease, there are multiple subtypes, estrogen, progesterone, receptor positive, negative, HER2 positive, triple negative. It depends on the subtype of breast cancer and where that cancer has spread to in the body that determines the type of treatment that patients will get. So that individualized, personalized care is what the medical oncologist will work with the patient to come up with a plan to treat the body. But living with metastatic breast cancer is way more than just about taking medications that are prescribed by the oncologist. You know, it's more than just going for the appointments. It's about taking a look at your life, being mindful, and taking an active role of becoming a participant in your care because bringing meaning into someone's life is so important because I always say it's not the number of breaths that we take in life that are important. It's the number of breaths that we have in life that that those moments in life that take our breath away, living life to its fullest, to be bringing meaning back into our lives. And for a lot of breast cancer patients that have metastatic disease, they lose that bliss and their joy in their life So Viber uh, Health and Athenix Oncology came together to create the metastatic breast, facing metastatic breast cancer guide, which brings science and data-driven information. So this is evidence-based medicine on mindfulness, on lifestyle, on decreasing inflammation, on um, decreasing social isolation. And you mentioned COVID. COVID has become 
um, the social isolation plague of our, of our lifetime because yeah. our patients with metastatic breast cancer, many of them need to isolate to stay away from other individuals that may have contracted COVID because of the treatments that they're on. So this guide could not come out at a better time, not just for metastatic breast cancer patients, but for everyone to learn about how do we bring meaning back into our lives because so much has been taken away by COVID. I'm so glad you mentioned, too, it's not just about treatment. It really is about being able to provide that information and resources for every aspect of life. Have you noticed, one of the things I noticed when I was prepping for this segment, uh, Dr. Dupree, and and I think our audience would agree with this, I mean, so much of what we're dealing with today, especially in the age of COVID, is about our nutrition and our health. Have you found that that also is something that you all have been able to address when it comes to making sure that you're getting the proper nutrition, when it comes to taking care of yourself outside of your treatments? So obesity is going to replace tobacco as our major risk factor in the United States. And it's sad because when I watch the news and I hear people talking about how bad the U.S. has done with COVID, nobody's talking about the real issues, that we live in an obese world. We eat poor diets. We have stressful lives. We don't exercise. Um, So all of those risk factors that we talk about with COVID are also risk factors for many cancers, particularly breast cancer. Obesity is a huge risk factor. Drinking too much alcohol, using tobacco. I don't know why we make cigarettes anymore in this country. But we all have a lot of lessons to learn. And the information in this guide is really a prescription for health, not just for metastatic breast cancer patients. I have other integrative um, physicians who have looked at this guide, friends of mine who are like, oh, my God, this is an amazing guide. Like this, this should be out there for everybody, not just metastatic breast cancer patients, because It's not specifically about a medication for breast cancer. It has nothing to do with the specific meds. It has to do with our prescription for living. How do we live our best, most most meaningful, healthy life? Wow. Well, that sounds amazing, and I'm so glad that this is available. Again, everyone, Dr. Beth Bachman Dupree has been our guest. We're here talking not only about the importance of being aware of what is involved when someone has metastatic breast cancer, but also the treatments and the resources that are available, including the guide that Dr. Dupree mentioned. So, Dr. Dupree, where can our audience go for more information about the resources? I encourage everyone, doctors, patients, and caregivers, to go to a Phoenix Oncology, A-T-H-E-N-E-X, oncology.com, Click on Patient Resources tab to be able to order your free guide. And also, patients could go to FacingMBCTogether.com, which is a wonderful resource and cancer program to support women and men going through and living with metastatic breast cancer. And for our iHeartRadio audience, we will link that up for them. Dr. Dupree, again, thank you so much for the work that you do and for your time today. And looking forward to having you back on the program again. Cyrus, thank you so much, and I love being a mover and shaker. You made my day. <laughs> well, look, we appreciate the work you're doing as a mover and shaker, Dr. Dupree, and we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying, as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live. Let's make today amazing. Take care. <laughs> 